Round one. Fight! Yes, uh, the, the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this is stressful. So I think that the video speaks more to Ben's character that speaks to mine. Toasty! But it seems fairly obvious to me she wants to leave the Daily Wire. Finish him! Ah! Fatality. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and a massive shakeup in the conservative, big conservative space this morning as it would appear that The Daily Wire has parted ways or fired Candace Owens. Now, just so everyone knows where I stand, I'm going to report on this. I'm going to you know, try to be unbiased with it and a lot, you know, say up front that I have had my issues with Daily Wire Inc., things that they've done. I've had issues with Candace Owens and things that Candace has done, um, and I've been vocal about those things. But I think this is a very interesting shakeup that if you were watching, I think the writing had been on the wall for a while and the Daily Wire just was never going to be a fit for Candace Owens. I suspect that Candace Owens felt that she was bigger than the Daily Wire and maybe she is. I don't know. It's tough to know exactly what the Daily Wire viewership is because they pump so much advertising dollars into into inflating, you know, or to, you know, getting view numbers up. <clears throat> but it's inarguable that the Daily Wire is gigantic, uh, and any one of the personalities on their page probably have more reach than I do, and Candace Owens probably has more reach than I do. So I'm, you know, to be humble about it um, and understand my position in all this. This morning, Jeremy Boring announced in a pretty unceremonious tweet that the Daily Wire and Candace Owens had ended their relationship. Now, to me, I think if you look at it, if you look at the timeline, which I'm going to describe how we got here, I saw this coming miles away. In fact, my tweet, my reply to him says, saw this coming a mile away. Big Con is real. Right now, Stephen Crowder was right, is trending. I suspect that's, you know, it's an interesting alliance because, you know, it seemed like the Daily Wire used Candace Owens as their kind of attack dog against Stephen Crowder. They were happy to let her go after Steven Crowder. So, you know, I haven't forgotten that. I haven't forgotten, you know, social autopsy. I haven't forgotten, um, you know, Daily Wire selling $20 chocolate bars and, you know, Daily Wire seemingly having an issue with uh, Candace's opinions because they didn't perfectly align with um, supporting uh, one side or the other in the uh, Israel-Palestine conflict. And there's an undeniable element of that here that's that's taking over a bit of the uh, conversation, but I actually think that was just one of many straws that eventually broke the camel's back. Now, I'm wondering, I don't know if she's going to join Rumble or not. That would be cool. By the way, I live stream every single day at 5.30 Eastern, Monday through Friday there. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. I would love it. I'm not telling you to leave whatever platform you're watching me on, but it would be awesome if you watched me on Rumble Live every day. So you see Candace Owens has joined locals. So I suspect this may have been happening for a little while because um, it takes a minute to get a custom landing page like that. Uh, you see Candace Owens not necessarily... Uh, spilling any tea here, literally retweeting Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended the relationship. There's a very strong possibility here that this was mutual. She then responds and says, the rumors are true, I'm finally free, which that to me uh, would lend credence to she wanted out anyway. Um, if you would like to support my work, you can head on over to CandaceOwens.com where you'll be directed to my locals page or you can give a gift at gocandice.com. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm not sure if it's loading. Oh, it's just a straight donation page. There will be many announcements in the weeks to come. Um, and then she's got like, you know, America, America first. Um, look, how do we get here? Well, I think there are many things that the Daily Wire that she covered as, under the Daily Wire umbrella that they didn't like. 
I'm not saying whether or not I agree with them or whether or not I disagree with them, but I do think that they are things that bothered the higher ups at Daily Wire. It starts with, of course, bringing on Kanye West. Then, of course, for obvious reasons, his comments on Jewish people and the people that own the Daily Wire, obviously being in direct conflict with that. Then she had a spirited defense of the Tate brothers multiple times, which has sown a lot of discontent. My opinion is, look, I'm not going to trust, you know, cut up videos from, you know, people posting on Twitter. These these guys deserve their day in court, uh, just like anyone else, and they deserve a fair trial. That's my opinion. Um, it's there's the waters are so muddy. It's difficult to know exactly what to believe. But certainly, the Daily Wire did not like that. I can tell you that much, pretty definitively. Then. Um, this is, this is pretty much in order. Then obviously October 7th happens. And that is when essentially the boiling point began. I think with the very public spat between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro in which Ben outright said <clears throat> publicly, you're free to quit anytime. My suspicion is that Candace Owens wanted out of this contract Felt like she had been out earning it, out performing it. So she probably purposely picked topics that she knew would piss off her leadership. I don't know that for a fact, but I've been in this game over 10 years. I know the way the contracts work at the Daily Wire. I know how the way they work at the Blaze and all these other places. I've been seeing contracts from all of them. That and, and this is exactly what I would do, right? Get fired so they have to pay you out. That's essentially it, right? You sign some, I don't know what Daily Wire probably paid her, many millions of dollars. She probably thought she was worth more than that. So what's the only solution is to get fired. So that day happens. Ben is caught on tape, essentially disparaging Candace Owens, which he's allowed to do, but he called her despicable or her comments despicable um, simply because she didn't immediately get in line and say, you know, uh, what many people accuse Ben of is being Israel first. I've seen that. I've seen, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not Jewish. I, I know Jewish people, but they aren't practicing for the most part, as far as I know. And uh, they aren't like, they don't identify as their whole personality as that, like Ben Shapiro does. Um, but certainly their Ben Shapiro has come under fair criticism about, you know, his warmongering and his, you know, kind of Israel first point of view. So when Candace Owens spoke up against that, you knew that was it. The fuse was lit. Um, so Ben Shapiro looked like maybe he'd had a few white wine spritzers with speaking at some sort of event, called her comments about it despicable. Then they get in a very public argument on Twitter where Ben tells Candace Owens, hey, you're free to quit. Uh, it was at that moment you knew. And then Candace Owens went and did this interview with Tucker Carlson. And in that interview, it became pretty clear to me that she wanted out at the Daily Wire and she was 100% willing to burn those bridges. And that's who Candace Owens is. She is a bridge burner. She is a um, you know divisive figure. Again, I think that even if I don't agree with everything she said or done. I can honestly say she is relatively fearless in the things she says. I would think, um, she says what she's going to say. Uh, you may not like it, but it is, you know, I, I at least respect that. So when you look at the reactions on both sides, I'm going to guess that she's going to, here's, here's my outsider insider point of view. I think it is financially best for Candace Owens to not dispel any rumors that she may have been wanting out because that is how she maximizes people supporting her efforts with locals or anywhere else. And I understand that. I think it's maximally interesting or a maximal benefit to the Daily Wire to not say, hey, we fired her, simply saying we're no longer uh, working with her. I do think it's particularly interesting timing. This firing comes moments, basically, 
moments after the ADL went directly after Candace Owens for the crime of somebody endorsing her opinions or agreeing with her opinions. It wasn't anything that Candace said. It was that the ADL came out and said, oh my God, this evil person is praising Candace Owens. It's hardly surprising, but it does set off alarm bells. When bigoted people come together and push this agenda, it adds fuel to the fire. This is the ADL sharing, of course, a Media Matters hit piece. And of course, this is the power of the ADL, right? Hundreds of millions of donor dollars. This hit piece got just 590 likes. That's it. And it got quote tweeted into oblivion. Of course, they disable replies because they know everyone in the replies would be dunking on them. Candace Owen says specifically that I don't know them, but you already know that. What I do know is that everyone you can everyone can see that you what you guys are doing to me. Your pattern is well established and the world is waking up to it. My crime is having stood up for myself against your network of smears. Within 24 hours of this ADL tweet, Candace Owens and the Daily Wire had parted ways. So within 24 hours of the ADL saying this, they're gone. Now, did they agree on this weeks, months, years ago? I don't know. Uh, but the timing certainly seems very suspicious. Uh, it seems like to me, if anything, if anything, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. I think we could all agree on that. It, 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 it certainly wasn't just the ADL hit piece, but it was everything that happened before that. And it was also probably the likelihood that Candace Owens wanted out. She never said so publicly because she probably had a multi-million dollar contract with the Daily Wire that would be forfeit if she had, or if she had you know, publicly acknowledged that. My suspicion is that she would want to go to uh, Tucker Carlson's network or go out, forge out on her own, which it seems to me that now, if you look at her Twitter, she is going out on her own. She tweeted out, this is my personal YouTube page. I'll be bringing back the show after a brief hiatus. Take a moment to subscribe to this new channel. If you look at the channel, what's interesting is it has 1.5 million subs and she uploaded a video three weeks ago that only has 16,000 views, um, which is weird. Uh, but before that, you know, her views, I suspect her views will be Candace Owens will almost certainly maximize this drama because she's very, very good at that. And I suspect she'll pass two, two million subs by the end of the weekend. She'll be getting two, three, four hundred thousand 400,000 views on her own on YouTube, but without the protection of daily wire, which they do provide protection and run interference with YouTube sensors. We saw this with Matt Walsh. So I noticed she joined locals. I'm hoping she brings her show to rumble. I hope she live streams on rumble. That's obviously me being, uh, you know, me being selfish, me being, um, you know, uh, you know, that would be in rumble's best interest. But anyway, also noticing that Crowder is trending and a lot of people putting out a lot of people, owe Crowder an apology over the DW saga. Candace Owens is now even more free to go hard on exposing various industries. How long until Candace Owens and Steven Crowder try to take down DW? I don't think Steven Crowder is going to want anything to do with Candace Owens after the things that she said about him, true or not. Um, you know, you see wonder if Candace Owens will take back all the stuff she said about Steven Crowder when he told the Daily Wire to F off, all this kind of stuff. So it's going to be pretty interesting how this shakes out. I suspect we're going to have some pretty spicy news and tea over the past next couple of weeks. Maybe if Candace's history is, you know, anything like what I can expect, but it's be interesting. All I could say is wherever you're watching this video, please do subscribe and follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.